In this film, Tom Hardy plays the role of Max Rokotansky, who recounts his history as a former police officer and street fighter. Now he wanders aimlessly around a desolate Australia, plagued by thoughts of his wife and kid who have passed away, as well as other people that he was unable to rescue. As he is perched on the edge of a cliff, he comes upon a lizard with two heads, which he then smashes and consumes. After that, Max drives away, but he is swiftly chased by a gang known as the War Boys. These individuals are suffering from radiation illness, which causes them to become pale and resentful. Max is forced to crash as a result of their pursuit of him across the desert. They are taken captive by the War Boys, who then transport him to their stronghold, the Citadel, which is located in caverns on top of a tall plateau. When Max arrives at the Citadel, he has his head and face shaved, and a message is tattooed on his back, declaring that he is a universal blood donor who is type O negative. Before they can mark him with a burning skull symbol, Max tries to flee. As he attempts to escape by leaping into a hanging trap, he continues to get images of the deceased at the same time. However, the War Boys were able to reclaim him despite his attempts. The Citadel is controlled by a Morton Joe, the commander of the War Boys. Joe wears a hideous mask constructed from horse teeth and needs air tubes attached to a breathing equipment, perhaps owing to injured lungs. At the Citadel, Immortan Joe caters to a mob below by giving them water, causing pandemonium as everyone struggles for it. Following this, Joe dispatches his most senior lieutenant, Imperator Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron, on a mission to Gastown in a gigantic war rig, which is escorted by a convoy of smaller vehicles. Furiosa, who has a metal prosthetic limb, veers off track, traveling east instead of to Gastown. When Joe finds this, he hurries to the lock cells where he keeps his five women, selected to carry his offspring. They are gone, having been abducted by Furiosa. Enraged, Joe organizes the war boys to pursue after her. Among them is Nukes, Nicholas Holt, who is too feeble to participate without a blood bag, a live supply of blood. This means Max, now caught, is fastened to Nux and linked with a tube, making Max a reluctant participant in the hunt. The War Boys think Immortan Joe can lead them to the gates of Valhalla, so Nux, wanting to prove himself, excitedly joins the hunt. As they follow Furiosa, they are assaulted by another troop, the Buzzards. Nux straps Max to the front of his vehicle, like a figurehead, and eagerly chases after Furiosa. Despite their attempts, Furiosa manages to fight off most of her assailants. Nux drives closer to Furiosa's war rig as Max attempts to extricate himself. Furiosa goes right into a big dust storm, but Nux continues after her, even into the deadly sand cyclones. In the storm, numerous war boys die. Nux, desperate to take down Furiosa, plots a kamikaze attempt by dumping gasoline inside his automobile and ready to light it with a flare. Max, however, manages to overcome Nux and halt him, ending in a collision. As the storm fades, Max finds himself still bound to an unconscious Nux, his face covered by a metal mask. Max attempts to blast the chain restraining him, but his weapon misfires. He then sees Furiosa's war rig and approaches it, discovering five gorgeous ladies washing themselves and ripping off chastity bands with bolt cutters. Max raises his shotgun at the ladies, demanding a hose to drink from. After relieving his hunger, he requests them to break the chain connecting him to Nux. They attempt but fail. Max and Furiosa engage into a skirmish as he tries to cut the chain himself. Nux wakes up and enters the battle against Furiosa, who is supported by the other ladies. Eventually, Nux breaks the chain and Max attempts to take the battle gear. However, the rig slows down because Furiosa built a kill switch, and she's the only one who knows how to revive it. Max grudgingly permits Furiosa to return to the rig, but doesn't want to take the ladies along. Furiosa demands they journey together, guiding them to a site she calls the Green Site. As they drive off, Nux discreetly gets aboard. Nux disconnects the brake line from the gasoline tank, slowing the battle rig. Max immediately crawls beneath the enormous car and reconnects the connection. During the pursuit, Max eventually removes the mask off his face. Furiosa directs the truck into a tight canyon, where she makes a contract with a bunch of outlaw motorcyclists to block the way behind her by producing a rock slide, in return for 3,000 liters of gasoline. The motorcyclists blow up the bridge, briefly delaying Joe's pursuit. However, Immortan Joe, in his big all-terrain vehicle, manages to overcome the rockfall. Nukes joins him, revealing a piece of fabric he seized from Angharad, one of the wives, demonstrating she is with Furiosa. Another pursuit begins across the desert. 
The Warboys continuously assault Furiosa's rig, and Joe attempts to fire at it until Angered comes out, using herself as a human shield. Joe refrains from shooting, not wanting to hurt his unborn child. Nux tries to aid Joe, who paints chrome paint over Nux's lips, promising him a spot in Valhalla if he succeeds. In the confusion, Nux loses his weapon, infuriating Joe, who continues to drive. Angered slips from the truck and is driven over by Joe's car. The ladies implore Max to turn back, but Furiosa demands they keep going. The others are saddened, as Joe shouts in wrath, cradling Angered's dead corpse. Nux slips back inside the battle rig, desperate to assist the ladies' escape from Joe. He lays on the floor, upset about his repeated failures, and squandering his opportunity to join Joe's elite. As they travel through the night, the rig becomes bogged in a wide area of muck. The rancher is close behind them. Max shoots at him but misses, but Furiosa takes a perfect shot, damaging the rancher's lights and blinds him. Nux proposes hooking the truck's winch to a nearby tree to move the rig ahead. Meanwhile, a Morton Joe's henchman, the organic mechanic, Angus Sampson, attempts to rescue Angherd's infant but learns it is dead. Joe informs his adult son, Rictus, Nathan Jones, that he had a sibling, and Rictus shouts with glee. The ladies continue moving the battle equipment out of the muck as Max approaches the rancher. After a few blasts in the distance, Max returns with the rancher's blood and a stockpile of guns and ammo. In the morning, they drive up to higher terrain, where a nude lady, Valkyrie, Megan Gale, cries for rescue. Max expects a trap, but Furiosa knows her as member of her ancient tribe and introduces herself. Valkyrie descends in dresses, and other old ladies, the Vuvellini, appear. The keeper of the seeds, an elder, recognizes Furiosa. Furiosa tells them she is escorting the ladies to the Green Place, but the Keeper explains that the muddy marsh they traversed was once the Green Place, now devastated. Devastated, Furiosa collapses on the beach, weeping in despair. The Vuvellini agree to assist the ladies traverse the salt flats, hoping to establish a new home. Max chooses to aid them in returning to the Citadel, understanding Joe's fortifications and water supply are weak. They also aim to trap Joe and his troops in the canyon. The party travels back to the Citadel, and Joe, using his telescope, easily deduces their purpose. He collects his soldiers and gives pursue. During the battle, the Vuvellini fight fiercely. Valkyrie fires at the Warboys while shielding one of her own until she is overtaken. Max and Furiosa knock out more Warboys, and Max compels Joe to murder the bullet farmer by using him as a human shield. The Keeper of the Seeds is slain when a Warboy slashes her neck. Joe grabs Toast and holds her in his truck. Furiosa is injured and gets weaker as Joe and Rictus move in. Toast distracts Joe long enough for Furiosa to connect Joe's mask onto the wheels of his truck. The wheels tear off Joe's mask and half of his face, killing him. The war rig moves into the canyon, with Rictus still in pursuit. The ladies escape safely as Nux says goodbye to Capable and sacrifices himself to collapse the bridge, killing Rictus and stopping Joe's troops. Returning to the Citadel, Furiosa strains to breathe. Max pierces her side to release air and gives her a blood transfusion, ultimately revealing her his name as she loses consciousness. At the Citadel, Max delivers Joe's corpse to the populace, who celebrate and rip apart his body. The water supply is released, supplying the inhabitants with much-needed water. Furiosa, now the clear leader, rises as Max and her exchange a courteous recognition. Max then sneaks away into the mob to continue his quest.